Hi, welcome once again. Um, this is a full mass solutions. In our previous video, we started looking at uh, higher derivatives, and we mentioned that when talk about higher derivatives, just that uh, we've done something beyond the first derivative, so second derivative, third derivative, and we are into higher derivatives, and um, we were successful, very successful in finding the the nth derivative of uh, sin x. Um, in this video, we're going to look at the nth derivative of lin x, say the, the log function uh, to the base e. So log to base e. So you have lin x. We want to find its uh, nth derivative. So we start off by saying that we um, should let y be equal to lin x. Okay, so from differential calculus, we realize that the first derivative of this is going to give us um, plus y prime gives us 1 about x. So that's the first derivative. And if you can write this one nicely, we want to write it in this form. So we have to look at it. So that it subsequent differentials will be easy for us. Um, second derivative, so we're using the power rule means that this negative multiplies here, then we subtract 1 from it. And that gives us a negative x. Then if you subtract 1, then it comes this negative equals 2. So let's see the third derivative. Um, so it means that uh, this one here has multiplied by negative 1. Then we have that. So third derivative here we're going to give us Negative 1 is here. Then still applying the power rule means negative 2 will have to come and multiply. Then x, this place becomes negative 3. Good. Good. Then fourth derivative. Okay, so fourth derivative is going to give us negative 1 here. Multiply by negative 2. And then this one comes here. It gives us negative 3. As negative 4. Good. So our duty at this moment is to be able to recognize certain things so that we we'll conclude that yes, the nth derivative of this function, ling s, is equal to. So we have that in mind. We'll be needing it when it comes to the product of functions, the derivative of product of functions. Okay. Now, so far, what have we seen? We realize that in the first case, when we find a derivative, there is nothing multiplying it. So we say that there is something that is positive. So we have that. But then the exponent or the power here is negative 1. So 1, 1. So first derivative, we have the second derivative, at least 2, but it's negative. Third derivative, fourth derivative. So we have seen something from this aspect. So we can say that if this one continues up to m derivative, then it's going to be equal to whatever is here. Okay, then to so n exponent of uh, x exponent of n. So we started looking at it from this aspect. Okay, that's good. But when we come to this aspect here, we realize that after this one, there's no negative one here, but this has negative. This one too has negative. Uh, if you multiply, you get positive. So it's as if the sign is changing. You just want to observe uh, uh, a certain pattern. So here is negative. And uh, we have negative all around. But when we look at this, this is 1. Another one is here. This is 1, 2. This is 1, 2. So it's, it's behaving like. Uh, a certain concept we've learned before, that's a factorial. So, so something factorial, maybe 3 factorial, which is a 3 times 2 times 1. Yes. When we look at this particular one, is we can get to the nth uh, derivative. And if we look at the nth derivative, we can move and say that, okay, we, we have observed that at every point in time, the signs are changing. So you can have negative one here. Okay, then we bring the bracket. In the bracket, we have one, two, three, and 
if this continues. Okay, so earlier I was talking about a certain factorial. So if this continues, we realize that this second derivative and we have one. Third derivative, we have one, two. So fourth derivative, we have one, two, three. Now if this continues, we're going to have here uh, n minus one, then factorial, then multiply by x, n, so you have something of this nature. But the sign here kept changing. Okay. So on that ground, you see that the n derivative actually is going to be negative one. Here. Then n, okay, so we, we started with all this, so we have here n minus 1, so which we multiply by n minus 1 factorial, then we have x, yes, now you need not to be confused, but what is trying to happen here is that we have 1, 2, 3, which we're trying to look at as a uh, a certain factorial being uh, observed here. But if this continues, so it will be resulting in something like negative 1 raised to the power n minus 1. So we have to So let's see how true this is. So by just uh, looking at some hypothetical cases. So if um, this is a link function, okay, so first let's conclude that the uh, n derivative, so the n, okay, so let's make it this way, of lin x is equal to, we have negative 1, n minus 1, then multiply by n minus 1 factorial, then multiply by n, like something like this. So if you want to find the first derivative, the only thing I need to do is to put 1 here, 1 here, one in place of what's uh, n. So find the first derivative, I have the dx of lin x. So I put one here, I realize that one minus one gives us zero. So negative one raised to power zero is going to give us, uh, what do you think? It's going to give us what one. We have one here. But what we can here, so 1 minus 1 gives us 0, 0 factorial gives us 1. So we use to multiply this. So you still have 1 times 1. So times 1. So we we'll put 1 here. So times x negative 1. So at the end we are getting something like this, which is uh, what we are actually getting in the first case. When we look at the second derivative, it means just putting 2 here. So second derivative. Uh, of lin x gives us so quickly. You don't have to struggle, just put 2 here. Putting 2 here means that this place becomes 2, so we have negative 1 raised to power 1, giving us negative 1. So we can here. Uh, so we have 1 factorial is 1, so multiply by 1. Then we put in 2 here, so this gives us negative 2. And uh, the result is negative x um, raised to the power negative. And is it here? Yes, is it? So we realize that um, the nth derivative of the x is actually equal to x. Keep it in mind, we'll be using it in the subsequent uh, video. So um, make an effort to download the next video and watch to the continuation of uh, higher derivatives and the product of uh, derivative of functions. Okay. So until we meet again, so we keep calculating a lot of uh, mathematical problems as far as the course introductory analysis is concerned. Thank you very much.